Alright, I'm back. So, I don't know what happened. I guess my phone can only make uh, like 10 minute videos, but I'm guessing that by the time uh, this video is uh, is released, it'll be done and modified into just one long video. Um, so this will be, I guess, part two, uh, I guess you could say. Um, I'm going to be touching over a bit more of the puffy painting. Uh, it's really not that hard, but it does require, like I said before, a bit of finesse, a bit of... Um, precision so you can't really fuck up because me I, I didn't really care I, I I didn't spend that much on this suit I to me like you see you know look at that that's that doesn't look very professional but I don't really care because this is a spidey suit and I've always wanted a spidey suit this is the main reason why I got one it's not because I wanted to get the spidey suit I didn't want to get the perfect spidey suit I wanted to get I just wanted to get one because I've always wanted one. This is like a childhood dream that I'm finally be able to, to realize. And it's very exciting for me. But um, basically, the puffy painting is totally optional. I've seen other people with this exact print that have gone the... Uh, instead of puff painting, they went for like a um, fabric, a dark fabric marker. And that will, um, you know, provide some sort of a cool uh, webbing effect. But it doesn't look as cool as this. I mean, honestly, look at that. Look at this. Look how cool it is. It's really cool. You you, you, you can't lie. Okay, so now uh, I wanted to talk about... Uh, I mean, basically the, the puff painting is, is the hardest part. And it's going to take you... I mean, it took me a few weeks. I mean, just because I have a lot of work to do and uh, I didn't have a lot of time, so I would come back home, do like maybe 10 minutes of puff painting, and then come back and you know the next day. So if you have a lot of disposable time, this should be done within like the first week. Um, I don't doubt it. Now, the thing, another thing that I wanted to bring to attention that I said I would touch back later is look at this. Well, the reason why I did this is because, um, basically, the, the another thing about the Zentai Zentai suit is that it's it's cheap. There's a reason why it's cheap, is that it, they, they print it on, I guess you could say, low-quality, like, like um, dye sublimation printers. And th th this whole section right here that I pass over was white, like completely white. So it looked completely stupid, and I had to do something. Thankfully... I, I bought, um, you know, the fabric, you know, this, this, oh, hey, it's not, uh, it's not blurry anymore. Okay, weird. Um, <clears throat> the black puff paint, but I got a blue one. Uh, it's, I think it's royal blue, navy blue, I forgot which one, but I definitely will link it. Uh, I, I just don't have it with me. I lent it to someone. Um, and I basically went over it, and yeah, it looks kind of weird. I mean, look at this, it's kind of odd. But uh, it, it does, I mean, at the distance, no one notices and no one really cares. I mean, if I'm going to go to a con, people are not going to really notice. Uh, it, but it does, it is, I, I maybe could have done a better job. Like, it's all, like, bumpy and everything, but hey, it's, uh, hey, it's better than having white spots everywhere. Um, yeah, that's, so that would be another risk of, of, of getting it from Zentai Zentai. It's because it's, it's cheaply done. Um, now... That's pretty much puffy painting. Puffy painting is it's it's something though that like I said it's optional, so it's not really much that I, it's not really something I, I would touch on much more much longer. So I will teach you the methods to pimp out your suit. So let's talk about the head here. So the head, what, Zentai Zentai offered me the option of having different uh, like zippers everywhere, and like this is the zipper in the back, and you can barely see it, which is really cool. Look, okay, let me. Uh... Where's it? See, I can't even find it because it's so, like, well-hidden. So, oh, there it is. See the, the main black line here? You can barely see it, and it's really cool. It's like one of those hidden zipper things. Uh, I don't even know how they, how they did that, but either way, it's, it's really well done. I like that. And also, I highly recommend you do this. I extremely highly recommend you do this. But get um, zippers on your wrists because, oh my god, you are not going to want to remove this whole suit every time you want to text someone or you want to check your phone definitely go for this. I think this was like a $5 extra option. But, and the zippers are a bit, I think, lower quality for some reason. Like, they close really harder. But, it is, I, I can't stress this enough, you need this. Because you're, you're going to want to answer your phone. You don't want to take off your whole fucking suit for that. So, another option that was there, but I did not realize until it was too late. There's an option called the U-Zip. And uh, they, could, they could actually install this for you. It's right here. I think it goes like from here to it like a U form and here and all you do is just zip it up and it provides like a sort of like really easy like removal option right now all I have is just a single zipper 
zipper line going from the the head to the to the lower back but there are two zippers there's one here and one at the top um actually no i think there are two yeah there's two right here actually okay so basically um i i would highly recommend that option uh the option i think for the the head zipper is is, is already included so you don't have to pay for this uh but the these i think yeah okay yeah that's it these were five dollars okay and another option that I went for, oh yeah, is very important, it's the lenses. Now, there's a lot of different um, lenses out there, and I will link to a guy on the RPF, his name is T-Jack. This guy's actually kind of popular on that forum for making these uh, lenses. This is not from him, this is directly from Zentai Zentai. What they did is that they offered me the option for $10 more to just uh, attach uh, lenses. Now, <clears throat> lenses are a bit weird, as you can tell, they're, they're a bit flimsy, and the shape is kind of a bit weird like on my face it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look perfect and i kind of would have i should have uh you know went for the 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 optional route um now as you could see if you're maybe not see it's 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 like it's stuck on so it's like glue like glued on now if i could get one hand to hopefully and do this i'll show you what i did on the back oh boy i can't i'm gonna have to set the phone down all right, so I found uh, I found a way to unzip it. So basically, what I did is, as you can see, it's it's completely stuck on. So like, it, it would be like this. Now you you can't see through that. You can't see through this and this. It's impossible. Um, even if you're Superman or Spider Man, uh, what I did is that, as you could notice right here, there's like a fabric um, like stitch, and this you don't really want to touch. You don't really want to remove it from this because it's just gonna. If you put your face in it, eventually it's just gonna stretch out and just break the whole thing, so break the whole face, and you definitely don't want to do that. So what I did is that I cut holes around it, so you know, like, I got my, my, my frontal vision and, like, my lower vision, uh, and then I did the same for the, the other side. And, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's what I did for as the option for me for the Zentai Zentai route, but if you have the time, if you have the extra cash, and you want your suit to look really good, I highly, and I highly, highly recommend, don't make my mistake, get one of T-Jack's lenses, and he even makes a face shell, which is actually what I'm going to touch on later, uh, or actually right now. Um, a face shell is, now there's a difference, you could, put on the, you could put on the mask, and it'll look good, but it won't look great, it won't look authentic, what even in the movies what they do is that they they make the um the actor who's you know making the stunt double or you know for who's making spider-man they will give him a face shell so what that does is that they, it molds it molds the head to look like a classic like comic style spider-man it, it, like it doesn't look like there's a nose it, it, it's hard to explain i think i'll show it through like google pictures uh, in the video but it molds the face and then when you put the mask on it makes it look like real cool looking Spider-Man. Now I have a face shell that's in the mail right now. Um, it's not by T-Jack. It's by some other company that made it custom for like twenty bucks, because T-Jack says like around fifty dollars. So if you don't have the money, and I didn't have it at the time, and I really needed to, uh, I don't know. I guess I was very impatient, and I, I decided to just, ah, well, I don't want to wait and spend uh, spend more money. I'm gonna go get it for twenty bucks on eBay. So when I get it, I will make a follow-up video. It should be like in next week. Um, I'll make a follow-up video, see if it's good or not. Because uh, when I put it on, the I don't for some reason I have like like poofy hair and uh, my my I have very defined I guess um, um, cheekbones and a, and, a, and a chin. So when I put it on, it actually looks like I have a face shell on. I'll show you that uh, in a in a picture that I took later. But it, obviously, not everyone has the same facial structure, and everyone who wants to get a really good looking Spider-Man suit. So once again, I highly recommend you get T-Jax. Um, T-Jax face shell and lenses. What's cool about T-Jax face shell and lenses is that they're not stuck on, they're not glued on, they're actually magnetized. So the face shell, which I, I can't show a picture, well I guess I'll show a picture of in the video, um, it's basically, it's like a face shell, so it's like a mask, you put it on, and on it, on the eye sockets, like around here, like here, here, and here, there are magnets, and when you, and on the, on the, the actual lens, there's other magnets, magnets, so here, 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 and all you need to do is just stick it on, and it'll just stick. And if you need to see, you just pop him off. Now me, unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep this mask on, or else I'm going to have to just remove it completely, and it'll look a bit weird. 
but yes, once again, I highly recommend you get, you know, T-Jax lens and a face shell for the an authentic, cool-looking Spider-Man face, at least. Uh, also, it allows you to breathe uh, much better because yeah, he perforates uh, holes in it. It allows you to breathe uh, much better. Now, so that's pretty much it, and uh, and like, I'll show you the uh, the, uh, the like, look. This is the uh, the fabric on the inside. It's actually very comfortable. A lot of people ask me if it, if it was uh, like itchy at all, and no, it's it's actually so good I could barely feel it. It's, sometimes I feel like I'm not even wearing anything. I think I'm naked. In fact, I am. I mean, you know. <laughs> so passing on to another, like I guess you could say this is a public service announcement. If you're gonna wear this suit or any sort of Zentai suit, do yourself and everyone a favor. Get compression shorts with a cup. You don't want to wear your boxers because everyone's just going to see your junk. They're going to see the exact shape. You know, I went to work and I wore this as a secret. I wanted to surprise people. And now they all know what my junk looks like. So, don't make my mistake. And, uh, okay, so now let's go on to the, to the third part. And I think is one of the most important because you're going to want to walk around in this suit. And I fucked up royally, as you can see here. Um, what you're going to need to do for this, this is, I basically installed the sole, okay? The sole of a shoe. So I went to a, a random shoe store. I found a sole that looked really nice and looked very, like, Spider-Man-like, like this one. And I destroyed the shoe. Like, I just ripped it apart. I ripped it, I destroyed it. I, I removed everything I could. I cut it with scissors all, all until there was only this. There was only this. And then what I did is that I used Shugu. And I'll link that in the description as well. Shugu is like a, it's basically what it sounds like. It's goo that, you know, binds shoe soles together. Exactly. That's exactly what you were thinking of. Um, and it binds it to something. So what I did was that I wore, um, <laughs> I wore the, the suit and I put some goo under and I just stepped in it, stepped in the sole and waited a few hours. I think it was like two hours. I, 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 I was standing up and I was also uh, sitting down, but with like a dictionary on my on my lap, just to put some extra weight, um, just so that he could actually properly bind. Now, how I fucked up was, now unfortunately, I, <laughs> the first thing I, I thought when I went to the store is, oh, I'll just go buy a shoe in my size. But unfortunately, you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to get a shoe in the size shorter than yours. Like I wear 12s, and I got a 12 size shoe, and. Um, well, as you can see, it, like, it didn't properly fill out. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't look really that good. Like, I think this one is the better one, but this one is even worse. Like, look at this. See, look at that. Look at, look at the spacing. Yeah, I really, truly fucked up this. So I recommend, once again, to do the same thing I did, but only get the, uh, the, the size under yours. So, and if you, if you do fuck up like me, I just filled it out with puff paint to make it look a bit, well, better. Another method that I did... To make it look better is that, as you hear, yes, there's like a plastic bag in here. What that does is that when I put my foot in through here, it pushes sort of the the, 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 the plastic bag out, and it sort of fills out the thing. Because if I just have it on, it'll just look like this. With if if I put my foot through and it's it's push, pushing through, this actually doesn't show. This it, it just actually goes goes over it, and that's I I thought that was a genius idea of me to do that. And, uh, yeah, so, they, I mean, once again, don't fuck up. But if you do fuck up, install a plastic uh, bag inside. Um, one thing that you're going to need to do if you put these on, because you're going to need to put your, your feet on, is put a plastic bag around your feet. Put put socks on, put a plastic bag on, on your socks, on your feet, and then put this in, and then put the shoe goo in, because you're, it's very, like, um, it's not abrasive, it's, it's like, a, it stings. And it's very, it, it could be painful, and it's glue. I mean, this is super glue. You don't want to super glue your foot to something. So protect your feet. Don't make any stupid ideas. Just do it. And that's pretty much it for the feet. It's, But I mean, all in all, it looks really good. It allows you to walk around. This is what you're going to want to do. You, you don't want to, this is a step that's actually, I guess you could say, mandatory. If you're going to be walking around at conventions or at parties, you're, you don't, <laughs> you're not going to wear shoes on top of your feet. That's, that's stupid. It doesn't look Spider-Man-like. This is a mandatory part, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, all in all, I, I'm, I'm just glad I, I didn't fuck up it as badly as I did, but, uh, hey, it worked, it come, turned out well. Uh, now, as for the type of shoe, <laughs> I actually was stressing out, because this is the part that I was I was so worried about. I wanted to get a perfect sole. Um, a lot of people were, a lot of people on YouTube, they recommend um, water shoes. 
and I highly recommend that as well because they're they're very nice looking and they they look really and they're really cheap. You can find some for three dollars at at Walmart. Um, but I decided to, but they didn't have any in my size. So I had to go into another like shoe store to find there. You could also use boxer shoes. Boxer shoes are really flat. They're like hard like this and they're flat. Like they don't have um, like grooves like this. Um, and it looks, it makes it look kind of like the movie Spider-Man. Um, another option is to get like Nikes. If you want to look for the like Tasm 1 style suit, the Amazing Spider-Man 1. Um, he uses like, like sneakers and the, you know, red, he paints it red. Uh, other other than that, you could use um, any sort of athletic. I mean, any sort of shoe that has this kind of sole. I mean, I, I found loafers, and this is what the sole they had. They look perfect. So yeah. Now, of course, once again, my phone is telling me to to stop. So I'm gonna get back to part three and sort of wrap everything up. So this should be the last part. Um, basically, uh, this suit. Um, all in all, I I I'm very happy with this result. I'll be showing you some pictures. I I can't wear this. It's, uh, it's it's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should. Yeah, maybe I should wear it. Yeah, I'll wear it in the in the part two. I'll show you how it looks. Um, another thing that I wanted to bring to attention first is that uh, if you go onto Zentai Zentai, or if you just buy the pattern itself, um, the pattern itself will be shaped to people that are. So I think it's five seven, minimum to uh, six feet maximum. So if you're over six feet, uh, like me, I'm six feet three, um, you might want to get someone to, um, if you're if you're using the fabric on demand uh, option, I do recommend that you um, you ask someone on the RPF. Uh, I, I haven't had to do that because actually the when I sent the pattern over to Zentai Zentai, they they just sent me the my they just sent me the sheet and the the sheet to fill out all my information. They were able to sort of. Uh, reshape the pattern to my to my shape and then print it. So I don't know what what method they use, but there is a method that um, you could you could employ. All in all, total price of this. I mean, as you can see, it's you know pretty cool. Uh, total price is um, uh, let me calculate it. Actually, it's uh, I'd say total price cost me less than two hundred dollars. A bit more than 170. Uh, the <laughs> I I had to buy three of these. Like, don't make my mistake again. I I only got one, thinking that it would it would just be fine with one, and then I ran out, obviously, and I had to buy two more and wait in the mail for them because uh, there's none in Montreal and you can't find any in stores. And uh, yeah, just so buy at least three and I guess four if you want to be ex extra safe. Um, get some of this. I'm going to be, you know, going over the mistakes, so, and, uh, yeah, I mean, look, buy soles, these cost me, you know, 20 bucks, buy yourself compression shorts, and, yeah, look, I mean, if you want to, the main reason why I made this video is because a lot of people had, um, like, when I was looking at all the people that were making the videos, I still had a lot of questions, so this video is pretty much to show what, what you could do with my method, and, if you do have any questions whatsoever, I I have no life. I spend my life on the computer. I will be able to reply to you as soon as you can. Um, it's my pleasure to just you know help out people and make suits like this because this is really it was really fun. And you know what, honestly, this is really opening me up to making other types of suits. And now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and just get naked because you know I have to remove these pants and put this on and show you like the stretchiness and how it looks. So, peace.